Hello, and welcome back to the Counter-Strike Tools tutorial series. Today we're going to be going over a quick video on how to import textures into Source 2. So, to begin, we're going to want to go up to Tools and hit Material Editor this time. This will bring up a big window like this. And all you're going to want to do is press this little blue New button up here, and it's going to let you select from a whole whack of shaders. Um, for the simplicity of just showing how the actual material editor works, we're just going to go with the base one, which is CSGO Simple, which will work for a uh, wide range of models anyway. So we're going to select that one. And it's going to open up like this. At first, you're going to get these errors. All you have to do is Control S and save it to the material or your game directory, which it should open to. I recommend making a material folder for it. Open that, and let's just name it whatever you need to name it. I'm just going to name it test material for the sake of the video. Save it, and it'll actually kick in. Now, in other, on other shaders, there will be a lot more options here, but for this one, it's pretty simple. Uh, the only two main ones that I ever use is metalness texture and ambient occlusion texture. If your texture or yeah, your textures don't have a metalness map, don't bother checking this on. Same with the ambient occlusion. In this case, I'm going to check them both on, even though my texture doesn't have a metalness texture. Well, it does. It's black, which in that case, you wouldn't use it. Um, but for the sh sake of showing how to plug everything in here, I'm going to check it on. So first, what you're going to want to do is, just like with models, you're going to need to put your resources into the Counter-Strike directory. So in this case, I'm going to take my textures here, find the Counter-Strike directory, content, CSGO add-ons, the add-on you're working on, and then oh, I'd create a textures folder for these ones. So textures is for the raw, normally how I work is textures is for the raw textures, materials is for the actual um, materials that you uh, create in source. So just copy paste your textures there. And to find them, I'm going to copy the name of the folder, because what that'll allow you to do is when you go in here, back to the material editor, and we're going to start with base color. You're just going to want to hit the magnifier here, and it's going to open the texture browser. And this will pretty much show you everything that is in the um, content directory that has to do with textures. In fact, you already see that it's picking up on the base color map of the texture I put in there. However, I usually just copy the folder name in here, and I can see them all, and then pick the base color. And then we're going to go down to normal. Once again, hit the magnifying glass. Rinse and repeat for the whole process. Roughness. Now, if you don't have a metalness, you would just, in this case, it wouldn't even be there. You'd leave it blank, even if it was checked. In this case, not necessary, but I'm just showing it for the sake of the tutorial. And then last but not least, if you have it, an ambient occlusion map. And then control S. And that's good. You have officially made your first material in Source 2. Uh, it's a lot more simple than pretty much every other tool in the engine. So hope this helped, and uh, have a good day.